hello you're welcome to my channel i am vivian so today we'll be making a six pieces princess dark bustier gown so i have my fabric here plain and pattern so what we'll be making is something you know like this so don't mind the drawing this is just a rough work to explain to you what you need to do so you don't just cut your fabric anyhow you need to figure out certain things okay so for this center panel I want it to be 20. Now you have to consider the size of fabric you, you have and how wide you want this lower part to be. So to check, what you simply do is to use your tape measure and you know check how wide each figure is. Like for this center front, it will be 20 inches. And another thing you need to put into consideration is the shoulder measurement of the person. This center front, whatever figure you have here, should, you know, be able to accommodate the shoulder of the client or of the person you're making the dress for. So for the client I'm making this dress for, her shoulder measurement is 18 inches. So the shoulder measurement is 18 inches. So that's why I am taking 20 inches here. So this 20 inches includes the seam allowance for joining the center panel to the sides. Okay, so that is why I'm using 20 inches. Now for the sides, I started to use 12 for each panel. So I also checked on my tape measure and I see that what I have will be okay. So all together, it will be 44 inches just for the front. So when I checked on my tape, I saw that 44 inches is okay, it's wide enough. And that includes the seam allowance. Okay, so by the time you take away the same allowance, you should be having about 40 or 42 or thereabouts. Okay, just looking at it on my tape measure, I know the wideness will be okay. So this is for the front. So the total is 44 inches. Then for the back, I'll still have the 44 inches, but I'll be adding 2 inches for zipper allowance. So it will be having zipper at the back. So I'll add the two inches for zipper allowance so that by the time you fix the zipper and close it up, you see the back and the front would align, okay, 44 inches. So all together, all together, that would be 88 inches apart from the zipper allowance. So, so the roundness would be 88. So why I have 90 here is because of the zipper allowance, the two inches I added for zipper allowance, okay. So that is just the calculations you need to put in place for this dress. So right now, I'll go ahead and fold my fabric and cut. So like I said, I have plane and pattern. So this center panel will be the, will be the plain fabric, while the sides will be the pattern fabric. So I'll fold the plain fabric. So by the time I fold, I'll measure 10 inches. Okay, so when it is on food, 10 inches is what I would measure. So let's do just that without wasting any time. So one more thing, I will be using my, that is the princess that was their pattern. Because the client I'm making this dress for, I already have her pattern, princess that was their pattern. So I'll be making use of it. But in case you don't have this pattern, I would still make a video on how you can achieve this princess that you know six pieces princess that was here without using the pattern i'll make a video on that so it will not be having any half cut it will just go straight okay but i'll just use this pattern to make it fast this is just a quick one so in case you have you know a pattern like this if you have a princess that was tear pattern so you can see it fully if you have a princess that was tear pattern you can make use of it okay you can make use of it to make your work faster but without this you can still achieve this like i said i'm making another video to show you how to do that but it is still good you learn the two methods so don't go away learn how to do this i've shown several on this channel how to draft princess that was their pattern so i'll also be leaving links in the description box below in case you don't know how to do this pattern you can watch it there okay so don't go away, keep watching. Let's cut on our fabric. I'll show you how to place the pattern on your fabric and cut. 
So I have placed my fabric on the fold, okay? I folded it by 10 inches, like I explained. This is 10 inches. So when you fold your fabric, the first thing to do is to mark your length, the length of the dress, okay? So for me, I'm making use of the whole length of the fabric. So no need of marking, but if you're not making use of the complete length of the fabric, or you just measure where you want it to get to, and you mark it. So now I will place the center pattern, that is center piece. Okay, remember that this plain pattern will be that the plain fabric will be for the center panel. So I'll just place this. Okay. So you see why I said when take, uh, placing the measurements, bear in mind the shoulder measurements so that when you place the pattern, it would accommodate it, okay? So here it is. Here it is. So I like working with my paper tape, how to, you know, place this down. Because I don't want it to move. So I'll just tape it down with my paper tape. So just tape it down. When you place you know, something on me so that the pattern will not move. So after taping it down like this, the next thing is to now connect. You see how easy it is when you're making use of the pattern. You don't have to, you know, drag all over again. So I'll just connect from the waist. Okay, this pattern is actually half length. Okay, it's not like the waist. But I added one inch when I was drafting this pattern because the places that is there. So I added one inch. So this is actually where the, uh, the actual waistline should be, here, okay? So this is where I would connect, so this is actually the actual waistline, because I want the opening to, you know, come from the waist, like so, okay? So I'll connect from this point now to the end of the fabric, okay? So whatever your length is, like wherever you want the length of your dress to be, just connect from there to that point, okay? So I'll use my long ruler to do this. So I'll just place it, connecting it to the end, like so, and I'll mark it. measurements you also consider the hip okay when making this measurement though you want it to be wide but you also consider the hip because when you are extending it it will also cover for the hip okay so you also consider your hip circumference make sure that it falls in into what you are into the measurement you have taken so this is just it, okay? So I hope you can see the job, but if you can't, by the time I cut it out, you'll see the shape. So what I'll do now is to go ahead and cut. So, I have cut it out. You can see how very easy it is. Okay, so this is it for the center panel. This is it. So, I'll take it out now. This is the front. I'll cut the sides, okay? So, I've not cut the shoulder. So, this is what I have here. So, I'll keep this aside and cut the side. I'll now use this one to cut the lining, okay? Now, I want to just cut the back since the center at the back will also be this plain fabric. So let me just finish cutting from the plain fabric, then will move over to the other fabric. Now, this is the back pattern I have already for this plan. The, the formal, that is what I made before was just, you know, the back with waist that. That's why you can see this. So what I did was waste that. But now since I'm making princess that, I decided to then create the princess that. 
So what I did was just to measure the shoulder and find the midpoint of it. Then I connected it to this chest line, that's the upper bust line, where we have that. Okay, so it will go like this. You know, the back will not have is not supposed to be so it will just go like this. So what I'll do now is to cut it out. Okay, so I'll just cut it out from here. Use my paper scissors. I'll just cut it out from here. This is for the back. I don't blend it. I don't want it to be sharp at this point. So this is the princess that for the back. So I'll be making use of this for the center back. Remember, for the center back, we'll be having zipper allowance. So you know, at the front, I folded by at the front, I folded by 10 inches. Okay, on foot. Now for the back, I'll fold by 12 inches because of the 2 inches zipper allowance. I hope that is clear. So I'll fold by 12 inches instead of 10 inches. So I have to add that 2 inches. So this is it. So I folded it by 12 inches. So I will place this one now. And I would cut just like I did for the front panel. So I will still connect. Remember, I'm taking away one inch. That is, I'm stepping up by one inch. So it's from this point I will connect to the end. So I want it having that shape from the waist. Okay. So this is it, I'll just go ahead and cut. So I have it here. So for my neckline, it's the same neckline as I want, okay? So you can use whatever um, depth of neckline that you want. So this T goes for this very dress I'm making. So that's why I used it. So this is it for the back. So I have cut out the center piece for the back and the center piece for the front. So now I will then open it up. Guys, I will now create my zipper opening. So this is for the center back. So I'll also cut lining for this, okay? I'll cut the lining just the same way I cut the main fabric. So the same way I cut the main fabric, I'll cut the lining. So now we we'll cut the um, pattern, the other fabric for the sides. So I have folded my fabric, okay? So remember that this side is 12 inches. That I folded by 13. Okay, because I just want by the time I stitch the side, I still want to maintain that 12 inches. Okay, so I just figured it out and that's how I want it. So this is what I have here 13 inches. Now, this 13 inches, I marked the midpoint, which is 6.5. So the reason I marked the midpoint is I want to place my pattern. In such a way that I will have it, you know, the, the midpoint of my pattern should at least lie around that midpoint of this fabric. So that by the time I connect to this side and I'll connect to this side, I'll have it looking okay. So another thing you need to put into consideration is where to place this one. So you have to bring the center front. This will help you. Okay, so you have to place the center front. By the time you place the center front, you then bring your side, the side panel, okay? So this will help you know where you place this. So that when you cut, everything would align because the, the center panel fabric and this one, they are the same length. So you want to have the same length of the back and the, that is the center and the side. So I hope you understand what I mean, okay? So you don't just put it anywhere and cut, the length will not align. So this will just guide you. Okay, this is what will guide you. So by the time you have fixed this from the 
starting of the fabric, you then place this. So this is a guide that this is where the center, I mean the side front is starting. Okay, so this is just a guide. You can just mark it. Then one more thing, like I said, I marked the midpoint of this 13 inches so that when I place this one, I would, you know, allow it to at least have the midpoint of this pattern around, around the half of the coded fabric. So let me just mark it so that, so that you understand what I mean. So by the time you have placed this one, where it's supposed to be. Let me bring this one again. Let me just use it. It's a guide. So this is where it should be. Okay. So I'll take it down here. I'll just take it down here and cut. So now this is what I need. You then connect from this point. I'm still going up by one inch. So it depends on what you can actually cut out that one inch if you forget. That is if you have added anything to your pattern. Okay, so you can just cut it off if you forget. So this is it. This is just where I want it to start from. So I'll place my long ruler from that cord and connect to this edge. Okay. So I'll just connect it. Like so. So I'm marking it half so that I can see the chalk. I can see the mark. This other side, I would connect as well to the edge from that point. So I would still want to check if it aligns. So you can see, see this is where I marked the one inch. This is where I marked it. So by the time I place this one, the first point area matching, so I have it going the same the same way. So the, the, the waist the iron aligns, okay? So I like also this explanation is clear. So this is what I have. Remember I folded this fabric. So I have the two panels, the two side panels here. So I'll just cut it out now following what I have here. So this is it. I'm done cutting and this is it. Okay, you can see what we have here. Can you see this? So let me lay it with the center panel so that you can see what we have. So before I lift my paper, I would like to notch the bust point. This will help me align it with the other parts, okay? I will do that as well to the other part. Not that I didn't remember, but I would place the pattern again and notch the bust point. So it's very important, okay? So it just make things easy for you. By the time you notch your bust point, and you know the first point of the center panel, you just align the boots at the first point. So let me do that. So I'll notch it. That is it, okay? So with this now, it is very, very simple. So I'll also cut the back, just, you know, using the other panel of the back.
let me spread this open so I can see what we have here. So this is the center panel. You can see. We have the sides. So see why you need to notch the first point to help you just align it. And this other one will come this way as well. Okay, so by the time you finish your that, everything will relax. So you have it going this way. So have that effect, that six pieces effect by the time you stitch it together. So but for now, let me just leave it like this. So for the back. I will do just the same thing I did for the front side panel, okay? So I have placed it using the center panel as a guide. So you can see, it's aligning. Then I still measure the same 13 inches I use for the front. You know, I've already taken deeper allowance for the center back. So I then try to make sure that the midpoint of the paper is also aligning at the midpoint of the inches like so then I connected just like what I did in the front so I'll go ahead and cut it out so this is it for the center back okay so this is the back so I'll go ahead now and cut my lining just the same way I cut this uh, main fabric I'll cut my lining like so okay so so here it is. So you can see how wide this area is. You can see this. Okay, and this is beautiful. So I had it using wooden. You know, this is bustier. So when you're making bustier, you really need to pad it so it can stay well. So you can use either wooden or you use already made first cup. But I prefer using wooden so that everything will just stay well inside. Okay, so you can see this. I've taught you this channel how you can have a present that yeah. So I have a detailed video on that. I'll drop the link in the description box below. So I don't want this video to be too long. So that's why I did this off camera. So you can see it just got to the under post. So this had to be. This is it. And I've uh, stitched the lining as well. So this is the lining. So if you're going to that is hem this lower part that is you're just going to fold it what you will do is you reduce your lining by one inch so that you can use it to turn in you know when you reduce it by one inch you can use it to turn in the main fabric so i hope you can see this if i can reduce it by one inch and you stitch it will help to fold in your edge okay and you have a neat work from the outside but for me i'll be adding and I'll be making the little gathers and be adding to this side because this whole length is a bit short for my client because the fabric, the total length of this fabric is 45 and I used everything but the length of my client is 49 inches okay so I've cut out you know this uh, fabric from the uh, remaining of the fabric I have so I'll use it to make gathers you know, just pleat it on this edge to complete the length for my client so that the dress will not be short for her. Okay, so that is what I will do. Remember, this uh, fabric usually come by 45 inches. Yes, they come by 45 inches. And my client's full length, okay, the length for the dress she wants is 49 because this 45 will be above her knee, okay? That is a little bit above her knee, and she wants it below the knee. She wants her dress to be below the knee. So this is just what I will use to make it up, okay? So let's go and do that and see how it goes. Then for the back, I have also, sorry, my dog is acting in the ground, okay? Sorry for the noise. So I've also fixed the leg lining and zipper for the back so you can see what we have at the back you can see the princess that at the back okay so by the time i stitch the front to the back that is still the front and back then i will use the gathers round to 
complete the length. So let me do just that and you see the full or you see the complete look of this dress. So this is the complete look as you can see. Okay, I also added um, I added pockets to it. Yes, I sew pocket to it. I have um, made a video on this channel on how to sew pocket to your gown. So I'll leave the link in the description box below so that you can watch the video if you don't know how to fix pocket to your gown. Okay, so you can see. So this is it. I hope you like this video. Please give it a like and don't forget to share it with your friends. And if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, hit that subscribe button to be part of this wonderful family. And also turn on the notification bell beside it so that you will not miss out on any of our uploads. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Remain blessed.